Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another full face using nothing new. I did just go through my collection and as you can tell, I'm very at battle with myself today. I don't know what kind of vibe I want to go with. I should have just made this a shop my stash. Let me know if you'd like to see that this month because I can make that work. I think this is the color story I'm going to go for. I guess it's not really colorful, it's more just like tonal. Um, very cool tone, but I'm excited for that. I've been loving cool tones lately. I think I'm going to make these full face nothing new videos more often on my channel. I think they're really fun and inspiring to get you into your own drawers, see what you got and see what you could come up with that's a little bit different. So hopefully you like these videos. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. I think I'm first going to start off with the eyes today and I pulled out a few things that I haven't used in a really long time except for the Milani Soft and Sultry. I used this not too long ago but I'm going to be using this as my main eyeshadow palette and then I also pulled out um, a few other products like I have some eyeliners that I might use. I don't know which ones. I might just use one or two of these but I just pulled all these out because they have some nice gray and silver tones to them. I also pulled out this Pat McGrath Eye Doll in the shade Divine Mink just because it has like a bluey gray tone but it still has like a hint of warm in it. It's really, really unique. I really like it. And then I also, just to like highlight and maybe make things look a little bit more intense, I pulled out the Fenty Beauty Diamond Ball Out. I don't know. I don't know where this is going to take me, but we'll see. I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm first going to be taking this shade right here, which is Smoking Hot from the Soft and Sultry palette on a Smith 232, and I'm placing that in the crease. Taking a smaller brush, this is a Smith 230 with the same shade, just to build that up closer into the actual crease. Then with this blank canvas E10 brush, I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here. And I'm going to start building up the outer corner and defining it and making it darker. Before moving on to anything else on the upper lash line, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Tattoo Studio gel eyeliner pencil in the shade Intense Charcoal. And I'm not using a black for this just because I wanted more of a softened look and that's what it looks like. It almost looks black on camera but it's just a tiny bit softer. You can see there there's a black right next to it. It's just a little bit calmer. And I'm going to run this through my entire waterline and smudge it out a little bit on the outer corner. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush to put in the inner corner just because I don't want it to be so deep in that area. Now with this dual ended dose of colors brush that comes in their five color palettes, I'm going to be taking the same shade that we were working with before, which was After Hours. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that untamed shade to the lid and kind of just lightly smoke it and lightly disperse that near the center just to have a smooth transition. And now I'm going to be taking the Pat McGrath Eye Doll in the shade Divine Mink, which is just so beautiful. I'm going to apply that with my ring finger to begin with, right to the center. That is so pretty. I might add this shade right here from the Milani palette to the inner portion because it has a little bit more warmth to it and it might have the same kind of vibe as the transition shade. Tie that in a little bit better. It's very subtle so it won't really... I don't know. It kind of worked. I think it'd be really cool to add like a really highlighty silver right here so I'm going to kind of accentuate my eye bag slightly little bit. So I'm just going to take the darker two shades that I used and kind of leave a brighter spot right under the lash line. And then I'm going to fill it in with a shimmer shade. And to do so, I'm going to use this Melt Pencil. It's the All Day Every Day Metal Bond Eyeliner in the shade Ghastly. Ooh, it's like metal. I'm 
And I'm going to blend those edges out with that same dual ended brush. And I just tried to apply this shimmer shade as an inner corner and it's a little bit too warm compared to this shimmer shade we use. Um, I don't, maybe I'll just use a tiny bit of the pencil. That works. Now I'm going to quickly apply some mascara and some lashes and obviously cop it, copy it to this eye and I'll be right back. And here are the eyes I'll finish. The mascara I used is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. I just love how voluminizing and lengthening it is, so I'm not going to be applying any lashes today. And I also did my brows real quick just to get that done. I've been, I've been showing you how I do them in the last few videos, so I thought it was kind of redundant at this point. I've just been absolutely loving cool tones lately, so let me know if you'd like to see a video showing you all my favorite cool tone products or something along those lines. Let me know about that. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. So as of right now, I just have some moisturizer down, but for my base, I'm going to be using the Milani Soft Focus Glow in the shade 02 Golden Glow. I just want that extra amp of glow today, so I'm just going to add this. And sometimes I like to have a little bit more of a warmer base. When I do cool tone looks, I feel like it just makes everything look more balanced in a way. But I just think this is such a great drugstore base. It's so good. For my foundation, well it's not really a foundation, but I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I haven't used this in a minute, so I'm excited to revisit it. And I'm using the shade Medium. I like the experience of putting this on because it has like a little rollerball tip even though it's not like the most practical thing ever it feels kind of cool and I'm going to blend this out with this artiste brush I don't it's the oval 7 my royal lang nickel complexion brush is real dirty right now and I don't want to use that This one does offer a good amount of coverage, like it does cover areas and makes it still look like skin, which I really enjoy. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And now that I have all my base products down, I'm just going to go, every go over everything with the ColourPop sponge and I'm just gonna set everything not everything just the areas I usually set a little bit with the milk blur and set powder and I just remembered I forgot to say that I did finally dye my hair are you guys happy to not stare at the those bad roots anymore I am very relieved that's the only thing I would stare at every time I would edit a video I am so in love with it I'm going to a new girl now and she added some highlights in here as well that are super warm. I've never had warm highlights. I've always gravitated towards like ashy tones for my hair. And I am loving this, especially for fall. I'll put her Instagram right here. She is located downtown on Jasper Avenue um, at Mix Beauty. My mom has been getting extensions there for so many years now. I just never could afford it and I've always wanted long luscious locks. When I was younger, I would wear a black turtleneck like I'm wearing right now on my head to make it feel like I had long hair. Oh my gosh, yeah, the struggles. My hair never grows past this and it's super fine and thin, but not for long, not for long. I'm finally gonna do it. I feel like doing a little bit of cream bronzer today and I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Tantour in the shade Fair. I haven't used this in so long. I'm going to be using this brush that is no longer a thing at Sephora anymore, which really sucks, but it was their Precision Foundation brush. <laughs> Oops. Thankfully, this blends out so nicely that that won't really be an issue. I forgot how good that bronzer is. I'm going to 
bring this more into the foreground so I use it more. So good. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie, the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick in the shade 700. I believe they only have one shade. I think it's a universal product because it's quite see-through. Oh, I just decluttered my... I just decluttered my entire like face product collection, which you guys will be seeing. I did film it. It's just a pre-filmed video, so you're going to see it later on in the month. So you're going to see my roots one more time. <laughs> I just love doing declutters because you just like shuffle your entire drawers and then you bring things out into the foreground that you haven't used in so long. Like these, like the bronzer and the highlighter and most of these things I'm using today. I just, I don't know, I think it... I love decluttering. Inspiring and cleansing, I don't know, I just, I love it. This is another one of those highlights that look very, very editorial, because it's very, very glossy looking, but it's not, it doesn't feel glossy or with anything, which is really nice. It just sits on the skin so beautifully. And finally, for my blush, I'm going to be using the Cloud Paint from Glossier in the shade Dusk. Yeah, Dusk. This is a really fun shade for fall just because it's more like a brownish shade, but it's quite yellow toned. So if you have more of a yellow base, this one would look quite good on you. But I'm just going to be applying that with my finger. I have no idea what kind of lip product would look good with this look, because I feel like the blush I chose plus this is kind of tricky. I think I should have went with a more plummy, mauvey blush to tie in a better lip with it, but I don't know. The only lip color that I can really think of that would look good with this blush and eye combo would be more of like a brown toned nude, but I don't really have any mine. I'll kind of pull a little bit warm when it's against these tones. So I'm just gonna put on a little gloss this is the Hourglass Unreal Gloss in the shade Strike. I think this lip works. I like it. It feels nice and minty. I haven't really used these glosses too, too much, but I'm happy I uncovered these today. But with that said, that completes today's look. I really hope you love it as much as I do. I'm really happy with how these eyes turned out. I think I want to bring this highlight and the eye bag duo back again soon because I really like how it kind of opens the eye in a really cool way. I don't know. I really like how these eyes turned out. Let me know what you guys think. I really hope this video inspired you to look through your drawers and see what you already have and what you can come up with. That is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. It would help me out so much. I'll make sure to link all these products in the description down below, as always. And before I go, I would love for you to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!